Welcome back to a skewed reviews. And unfortunately, we recently lost Maggie Smith. And because of that, I'm doing a movie review in honor of her. So I decided to review a film of hers that I've never seen before. And that would be the 1978 movie, California Sweet. Here is your trivia question for today. What is the name of the movie Diana Barry was in and gets nominated for? The answer will be at the end of this episode. So in the film California Suite, we meet four separate groups of visitors that are coming from different places and spending some time at the Beverly Hills Hotel. The first is a group of visitors from New York. We have Hannah and Bill that are a divorced couple that are trying to figure out custody over their 17-year-old daughter who has recently run away from her mother. Then we have a married couple that are visitors from London, which are Diana Barry and her husband, Sidney Cochran. And Diana is out here because she is currently nominated for an Academy Award due to her performance in her most recent film. Then we have two married couples that are friends visiting from Chicago, Dr. and Mrs. Gump and Dr. and Mrs. Panama. We soon discover that these are two groups of friends that should be allowed nowhere near each other. Now our final grouping is another married couple that are visiting from Philadelphia, and this would be Marvin and Millie. So Marvin actually arrived the day before and had a very drunken evening with a hooker, and now he is trying to hide her as best as he can when his wife arrives. So this is very much an anthology film that I would definitely classify as a dramedy, as the vast majority of it are comedic situations, but a couple dramatic ones as well. This movie was directed by Herbert Ross. The writer for this film was Neil Simon, and it was originally created as a stage production, which it did appear as one until it was created as a movie. California Suite was actually the second of three Sweet films that were made from Neil Simon Productions. There was also Plaza Suite and London Suite. I was honestly very surprised I had never seen this film before, primarily due to the fact of how much star power there was in it. I mean, you had Jane Fonda, Alan Alda, Richard Pryor, Bill Cosby, Maggie Smith, Michael Caine, Walter Matthau, and Elaine May as the primary eight characters. What's interesting is apparently all eight of these actors were exactly who they wanted to play those characters, and they didn't actually have to reach out to anyone else. Also, just a quick shout out to both Gloria Gifford and Shelia Frazier, who weren't considered part of the primary cast, but did a great job as the wives of the doctors. Another few cameos that did also appear in this movie were Dana Plato, who played Jenny, who was the daughter of Hannah and Bill, James Coburn, who is uncredited as the pilot at the beginning of the film in the airline movie segment. And finally, I couldn't find a picture for it, but David Mathau, Walter Mathau's son, does play a bellboy in this film. Maggie Smith, by the way, does such a phenomenal job in this movie. I absolutely love her character. Also, when speaking of the character Diane Barry, there's an interesting piece of trivia here where in the film she wishes that actor David Niven could accept her award for her. Now, in the original stage play version of California Suite, Diane says that she wishes that actor Michael Caine could accept it, but since Michael Caine actually was cast as Sidney in this film, they changed it. Also, did you happen to know that the Academy Awards scene was actually shot right before the 50th annual Academy Awards. Kane and Smith were both presenters on that night. All of the paintings, by the way, that appear in the opening credits were created by pop artist David Hockney. The entire movie was actually filmed in California. So when it comes to the film California Suite, this movie is definitely a fun, entertaining collection of stories. I would say it's only possible downfall is you really can tell that this was a stage production, mainly due to how the characters interact with each other and some of the dialogue. So I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 5. Now if you enjoyed this film, other movies I recommend are Plaza Suite, London Suite, Crazy Stupid Love, and Four Rooms. And now it's time to answer the trivia question from the beginning of this episode. What is the name of the movie Diana Barry was in and gets nominated for? So the name of that film is No Left Turns. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of a Skewed Reviews. And if there's a movie that you'd like to see get a review, just mention it in the comments.